Imagine you're about to play the piano at a classical concert. You've been practicing a new piece of music for a long time, and you're not sure how the audience will receive it. Under the assumption that the crowd cheer more ecstatically than the performer expected, that will lead to a predictioner, and that predictioner will lead to an output of dopamine in her brain. So the level of dopamine will increase there and lead to the subjective state of happiness. The Lundbeck Foundation 2017 Brain Prize winner, psychiatrist and professor Ray Dolan has been researching the brain's reward system and the role of dopamine. Together with the two other Brain Prize winners, computational neuroscientist Peter Dayan and neuropsychologist Wolfram Schultz, Ray Dolan has demonstrated how release of the neurotransmitter dopamine helps us learn. If you want to tune your dopamine and to ensure that you get outputs of dopamine, the best strategy is to have modest expectations in relation to the future. If you have those modest expectations, on average, things will turn out better than your expectations. And that will ensure that you have many surprises. Those surprises will be signaled by an outpouring of dopamine. And that output of dopamine will help you, A, learn, but will also impact upon your subjective state of happiness. Dopamine is a chemical messenger in the brain. The release of it gives us a pleasant feeling, and that makes us learn and strive for more. But the amount of dopamine released depends on our expectations. Imagine you're facing an exam. The way you feel after you're given your grade doesn't only depend on the grade itself. Your expectations will also have an impact on whether you feel happy or disappointed. Most people going into exams feel anxiety and nervous, and they have an expectation. What you witness is that when people do better than they expect, the state that's engendered is ecstasy. When they do worse than they expect, deep disappointment. And we know such states are associated with a downgrading of the action of dopamine. So dopamine will not respond as much when things turn out worse. So dopamine is what makes us act to gain greater rewards. And dopamine is also what causes extreme joy when we have a surprising win. If I have to take a gamble, and I'm a sophisticated gambler, I will work out the prospect of me winning, something called the expected value of the gamble. And that expected value is very simple. You multiply the amount by the probability. So let's suppose I take the gamble and I win, then I have a prediction error that is the difference between that expected value of the gamble and what's realized by the gamble. And that will lead to a very large release of dopamine. So it'll lead to a great state of happiness, a real thrill. And to some degree, that's what gamblers are chasing after. The research of Ray Dolan, Peter Dayan and Wolfram Schultz has not only given us an important insight into what drives people in a positive direction, it also gives us an idea of what happens when dopamine leads us astray. One of the challenges for this field is to use the knowledge to influence people's well-being in general. More specifically, one would like this type of knowledge to impact upon people who have got disorders. We can modify people's expectations by cognitive behavior therapy, for example, in a way that we think might optimize how uh, they will experience the world and perhaps lead them to have more positive prediction errors and leads to a general improvement in their mood state.